you. Good. So we are going to move next to the community project. So I am going to show you or like present this to you in two blocks. We have four community projects. So let's go to the first block with the two community projects and then I will introduce the other two after, straight after. So first of all, I am going to present to you the project from Jesus Hidalgo from Venezuela. So, uh, and it is not that we were talking about IoT and about environments. Um, this project is about rain uh, gauges and how control systems or how can more control and improvements on control systems for uh, rain gauges can, can be improved, especially for sprinkling systems. So let's check this out. And um, uh, sorry, the next one that we are going to present as well is from uh, Vatsalia Baduria from India, who is also, I mean, I love that we have young people also presenting community projects. This is awesome. So this project is about smart farming and uh, we are going to get to know how uh, the hardware that was designed and this Android application can show real-time moisture, uh, moisture uh, and temperature uh, data gathered to control, you know, all of the smart farming projects. So this project is using ISP and sensor technology. So let's watch this and then I'll come back and show you the rest of the projects. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Vatsalya and I am 16 years old. I am a student studying in grade 10 and I live in India. And it has been more than two years since I have been making projects with Arduino. So now let's discuss about the project. So my project name is Krishi Navini Karan, which means development in agriculture. The technology which we use in this project is Arduino and MIT App Inventor to create hardware and application respectively. The aim of this project is the upliftment of farmers who are not aware of the cropping seasons and the adequate situations of the climate. My basic idea at first was to make aware farmers with government policies and schemes given to them so that they are not fooled by anyone according to their consumption and production. I started this project six months back for my school competition and added Arduino in it in less than a month ago. So now it's time to showcase my app to all of you. The app looks something like this. And if you look closer, there's an option for first temperature and humidity sensor. And when we click it, a different screen opens. And this is somewhat the layout. And then we have to connect it. You can see my Bluetooth module is visible. Let's see zero 05 and I'll then click it. As you can see, it is giving temperature 24 degrees Celsius and humidity 95 degrees Celsius. Now let's show me the hardware. The hardware looks something like this. And it contains one DH11 sensor, one HC05 Bluetooth module and an Arduino Uno and some resistance and wires. So that was it. I told you why I started this project, the technology which I used and the basic aim of this project. You can get in touch with me on my email ID that is vatbhadorya at the red gmail.com. I'll write my email ID on this. Thank you so much. Hello. So taking advantage of having you both here, thanks for participating. I'm really happy to have you like from Venezuela and India. And this is, this is really great. So uh, we already have some questions. So the first one for Jesus, 
which basic skills would you require for a user to install uh, his her own grain beacon? How long did it take to prototype the whole project? Okay, thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here with you, uh, with all the audience. Uh, it's, it, our idea is to have a very easy device that you just place it uh, in a, outside uh, and just turn it on. Then you need to, to be near a Lora One gateway. And that's it. All the information, a small packages of, of information fly fly to the Lora One gateway and the the whole system calculates the range. They base it on the the LoRa strength signal. Okay, yeah, I, I think I forgot to mention that uh, that it was using LoRa One uh, technology. Your project, so this is pretty yeah. pretty good to know. Good. So we have another question for Batsiala. Uh, can you, you you can already turn on? Oh, oh sorry, I'm reading the the wrong question. Good, let me go. Which are the possible applications of this project? Who is the perfect end user and how many parameters can you measure at the same time? So this is a group of three questions. So let's, let's see. Thank you. So the possible applications of this project is either to uh, measure temperature or humidity. Other than the IoT feature, we have added all the information that a farmer needs from sowing to the harvesting of a crop, including all the government schemes, policies, and also a farmer's helpline number, which the farmer can directly contact with the government. Also, also the perfect user rent of this project that I made is the upcoming farmers or the farmers who don't have any knowledge about their etiquette uh, uh, moisture of the uh, seasoning of the crop or the climate regarding that yeah yeah my, my project it's very very useful for farmers too uh, the the production of, of wine it, it's very important to measure the 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 rain because too much rain in the um, grape fields it will be not very not very good it doesn't have to have too much water and but you can use it for for example um oil industry applications because you need to measure rain when it's raining because several reasons and here the question says uh, how many parameters can you measure well you can measure uh, as any parameter as you want for example pressure uh, temperature, um, humidity, you also can calculate dew point. Um, a lot of, uh, if you have several sensors connect to the, the Lura One gateway it, node, you can send all information to the, through the Helium network. Okay, great. I think there's another question for you, Jesus. It says, has the LoRa connection been reliable in a city location? What kind of range are you getting? Yes, very, very reliable. Uh, we we are we have uh, experienced about four kilometers inside a city, um, going through buildings, uh, going through concrete uh, structures, and because you have a very uh, big network, uh, hotspot networks in China, Europe, United States. Um, you you will find a very easy, uh, a node, a uh, gateway very near from, from you inside a city. Now at the um, uh, outside, long far away from the city, you need to, to install a gateway by yourself, but it will be a very, very uh, wide, range for each uh, gateway okay about great. kilometers good we have another question for bat salia so has your project been tested in a live location yet on a farm for in instance this is a really good question 
Yes, uh, we have also tested a project in a farm, which is basically near to my home. That is, in a building the radius of five kilometers. We test uh, we tested this project for almost five days continuously to uh, uh, to see whether this is accurately giving the information or not. Great. Um, I think we have a little bit of time for maybe one or two questions, Max. So we can give uh, time for the next block. So this is a question for Jesus. What kind of accuracy are you getting from the rain detector? Well, this project was in, inspired on an investigation I made about in 2014. And we, with satellites, geostationary satellites, and we find about 90% of accuracy. Now we are working with um, Arduino uh, devices on, on LoRa network, and we are getting more or less the same accuracy, 90%. Oh, great. Um, do we have any other question? Uh, I think we don't have more questions, it appears so. We are checking here our... Um, Okay, let me see. Yeah, another question for Batalia. Um, are you planning to add anything else to your project? Another great question. Yeah. Yes, I'm. I am. Uh, I am planning to add uh, several components in this uh, project. One of them is a live geolocation of the temperature and humidity of a location. For example, I'm sitting in a different state and a guy sitting in a different state. So to connect, we are, we are actually planning to geolocation satellites, which will which would actually help to make a real difference for this project. Great. I don't know if we have time for another question, but I think I think we should move maybe to the next uh, block so we can present the next projects. And I want to thank you both. Jesus and Bad Sadia for Thank you. sharing your work with us. Thanks a lot and we wish you the very best. Thank you very much. Have a great day for all. Good. So